So let's play from here. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 14 depth. In today's episode, we spent some time listening to what we call the brass tax composition from the last stream and reviewed it with others. And we also reviewed what we called our energy factors list, which we updated at the beginning of this series. And as a result of today, we realize that we're designing not only from listening, from the story we've written, from music theory and the scales we're using, but we're also seeing patterns that we repeated, uh, designing from rhythms that we're listening to, which are patterns, and pitches. Uh, we're hearing pitches that we want to put in there, and it, it just became evident these were additional things to emphasize. Uh, since the last stream, we did explore visualizations, and we'll show you that very quickly. This is a visualization where the microphone and an M MP3 file darken the square, and this is the idea of shadow uh, notes that got the sun up here, and we got the sidewalk down here, and when a scale comes in the way, it casts a shadow corresponding to the note. So the upper square is our microphone. And the bottom square is an MP3, which has a simple scale in it. So every time that the note changes, we get a, a cast shadow. And this was just a beginning where the squares are darkened exactly by which note is playing. So these are the first two notes of the scale. And we don't have the rest of that programmed in there. So we did indeed uh, make a visualization. One of our thoughts from sharing our composition with others was we might need to slow it down a little or something. It's rather fast. And thinking about it, we talked about this last time. We said when you run melodies fast, you hear the intervals. It's a horizontal harmony. On the other hand, when you're trying to explain to people, well, that's the bright sun and this is the light and dark clouds they're going what what huh huh because it's going by so fast so we may also need to have both sound and text presented together at some point which we're going to do today uh, by by hand so our goals were to add depth which was the theme of today starting with the beat part and add depth with a backbone part and we were going to use design by listening as we discussed earlier the actual results are we re-examined our six-line composition, which is over here, and confirmed that it's got the story elements we want of the, the shadow and the bright. And we also went ahead and put the story on its own spreadsheet tab. So the story in words is over here, and then the actual structure of what's going on, what scales are being used is being detailed here under structure. So that was a result of our reviewing what we've done. We also updated our tonality reference and added the beats. And we kind of snuck up on it. We said instead of putting drum beats in there, we actually down here, we put actual notes where they pick out the beat from the melody. And doing that, we completed backbones for all parts one through six. So we want to show you kind of how we did that. And this is what it sounds like. Uh, we're going to use the mixer to kind of solo. This is what we composed in the last stream. And then this is what we compose today by picking out notes to be the backbone. Mm -hmm. 
So what happens when you let all the parts play together is something like this. So it gives it a certain extra energy and urgency and uh, or uh, a laid back feel depending on what rhythm we use in there bum 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 and then bum 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 so we're getting two for the price of one we're picking out backbone notes which allow us to come back later and figure out cadences to put in there and we're making a rhythm a beat rhythm to the composition without necessarily having to add drums at this time. So what we want to do is play the whole thing for you, starting from part one where the sun comes out and it's all bright. And as usual, we will mute the mic and play through the six bars, six lines, six parts so far. So that concludes today's stream. We feel pleased we made quite a lot of progress getting those backbones added. Our ideas for next steps include adding chords and exploring a further visualization. We'd like to do a shout out and thank you to John Heispa, Nick Chuck, and Fidaddy13 for their comments, encouragement, and as always, thank you all for your curiosity and attention and time. We will see you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.